This free Spintax generator tester tool, which you can find at nbots.me slash wt8, can be used to either test the spin output of content you already have in spin syntax format to see if the output content makes sense and is semantically correct, as well as to see and make sure that you have not forgotten a left or right bracket in your spin syntax setup. You can also use this free tool to take any piece of content like a regular sentence or paragraph and set it up in spin syntax format. In other words, this tool can be used as an IDE or integrated development environment to speed up the process of taking your regular sentences and paragraphs and turning them into spin ready output. How to use the Spintax Generator Tester Tool as a Spintax Setup IDE and Spintax Output Tester. Number one, for concentration and focus, it's a good idea to work with one sentence at a time. Under the Spintax Tool Settings, check the checkbox that reads, Insert left bracket before text that's selected with the mouse and right bracket after the selected text. If selected text is, X number of characters or more. With this checked, what happens is when you select text with your mouse, left and right brackets are automatically inserted at the beginning, at the end, the end of your selected content once you release the mouse. Your selected text will not get the left and right bracket inserted if this is unchecked or if the content selected with the mouse is shorter than this number of characters long, which you can change to a number anywhere between 2 and 10. For example, if we set it to 10, when you select text that's less than 10 characters long, when you let go with the mouse, the brackets are not inserted. Also, you will notice that the text that you selected with your mouse becomes a hyperlink here that says search synonyms for whatever that selected text was. What this does, it makes it fast and easy for you to find synonyms for the word that you just highlighted and just had brackets auto-inserted for. Clicking this will open up the Thesaurus website with a list of potential synonyms for that word or phrase. The reason for the auto insertion of brackets upon selection is twofold. One, it saves time because you'd actually might be quite surprised at just how much time is consumed having to manually insert these brackets every single time. In fact, it takes more time than anything else when setting up your spin syntax. In addition, it helps prevent the common problem of forgetting a left or right bracket because they're both automatically inserted for you. This feature can be disabled one of two ways, either by unchecking the checkbox and then text you select with the mouse will not get the brackets inserted, or if you only wish to disable this feature very temporarily, for example, maybe you want to copy the selected text to clipboard and not have the brackets surrounded, then hold down the control key while you're selecting the text. It is suggested that regularly you press the spin button to test the output of your content in these six output text boxes to make sure that your content is semantically correct, makes sense, and doesn't have errors such as a left or right bracket that's missing. Just below the spin button, you'll notice this percentage number of content uniqueness. This number is arrived at by comparing the output of all six text boxes and comparing the difference between all six of them. As you can see, the percentage is very low because I have not worked on the spin tax very much and the sentence is very brief and basic. For the sake of content uniqueness and preventing your content from being tagged as duplicate content by the search engines, you want to strive for a number that's consistently 200% or greater. 
Here is that same piece of content after I have worked on it a little bit. You can see it's a little bit better now. I still need to work on it some more to get it to be truly unique content. If you check this checkbox here, when you click your mouse in any one of the output text boxes, all of that text gets highlighted or selected, which makes it easier to copy to clipboard if you wish. You can also double click the editor window to highlight and select all of that text as well. In addition, you can change the font size of the editor and output windows to a font size that suits you.